So flying in the Caribbean is a real treat. Uh, flying seaplanes in the Caribbean is even even better, uh, with some beautiful sceneries, uh, unspoiled beaches and, and natural surroundings. And one of the interesting elements of flying in uh, these regions uh, is the aspect of radio communications and dealing with different jurisdictions as you cross over international boundaries. Uh, there's also some interesting uh, air traffic control um, anomalies that are kind of unique to this area. For example, here at VC Bird, uh, you need to request clearance from the tower uh, just for an engine start. Anyway, so here's an engine start and a taxi from the hangar area uh, back to the uh, FBO where we're going to be picking up some passengers. Uh, for those uh, interested in engine start procedures, uh, I'm not talking too much because the engine noise is too loud and I didn't really um, uh, hook up a microphone, but here you can follow along. Bird ground, good afternoon, caravan. This is the audio output test. For request engine start and reposition on echo. Engine start, well, go for a position, you are at echo. Hey, firm, on echo and reposition to remain on echo. Upgrade to start. Clear for engine start. All right, float compartments are good. Clear on the left. BC Bird Ground, American 978, we're ready to take it. 978 taxi on the back track, 1007 via Charlie. Entering 11, contact 118 decimal 2. Contact 118 decimal 2, uh, clear to back track on uh, runway 7 at Charlie, uh, American 978.
Right, so we are below 10% uh, on the NG. So at this point, uh, fuel pump can come off, standby alternator generator off, avionics one, two off, fuel off, and master switch off. That's it.